Welcome to Periscope, where we discuss the advantages of owning and growing your business in the city of Paris, California, while featuring the stories of those business owners whose companies are enjoying success here in Paris. I'm Jeff Allen. Good to be back with you. Thanks again for tuning in. On this segment, we're profiling stretch forming corporation with a 45 year history as a pioneer in the manufacturing space. To tell us more about it is the president and CEO of stretch forming corporation, Mr. Brian Geary. Brian, it's well Welcome. Nice Pleasure. to have you. Pleasure. Pleasure. Let's talk about Stretch Forming Corporation, first of all, kind of uh, uh, giving us kind of an overview. You folks are in the metal forming business, and you really uh, do a lot of business throughout a variety of industries. But tell us a little bit more about exactly what it is that you do and really some of your primary customers and which industries they fall in. You bet. Uh, we're primarily in the aerospace uh, manufacturing uh, business. Uh, that's where this process came out of stretch forming itself. This came out of right around World War II. And we literally are stretching metal uh, to create all the curves you see uh, throughout the aircraft, all the skins, the extrusions, profiles that go throughout, obviously, a contoured airplane. Brian, let's talk uh, about the history. We touched on the fact that you know, we've learned uh, about the, the history of your company, which is all right there at stretchformingcorp.com. But Talk to us about the evolution of the company, always in the metal forming business, always working with aircraft. Give us some kind of insight into the background. It's been evolving, uh, primarily aerospace now. Aerospace industry is doing quite well uh, right now. The industry is, is booming. But we also focus on rail car work, architectural work. The uh, skylights you see at, at many of the malls we probably contoured. Uh, we do some uh, other transportation work. We do some signage work. It just, uh, we're a, a build to print shop. Uh, our process is used an awful lot more than one might realize. It's, uh, it's seen in everyday items that we all just take for granted out there. But I'd say 90% of our focus is in the aerospace industry. It is, like I said, booming right now. How do you see that as impacting your company moving ahead? And are you already beginning to see kind of the fruits of some of that labor that's coming across because so many small companies are getting into that area? Well, you know, most fortunately or unfortunately, however you want to look at it, most of our competitors are usually large companies. The advantage we have is we have an awful lot of equipment. We're very vertically integrated. We can do our machining, our tool design, our heat treating, our forming, our fab in-house. We control those costs and, we can, and we're very nimble. You go to the larger companies, they really can't compete with us as well. So that is our competitive edge. Uh, plus, we have a fairly low overhead. Uh, uh, the city of Paris uh, has, you know, the facility we have is, we got it at a very cost effective price uh, back in 2010. Uh, and uh, that is our, our edge, if you will. And we're going to, you know, the aerospace, we, we see a five to 10 year window of, uh, of a lot of work uh, right now. We, they just can't seem to keep up with the production needs. You know, when you talk about being a pioneer in the metal forming industry, obviously, as time goes by, there's going to be more and more competition. How do you stay on top? What is it that you do? Because you're one of the little guys, as you've talked about. Right. So how do you stay ahead of the game? How do you stay ahead of the competition? Well, we have, um, we have a, a more forming equipment than most uh, larger publicly held competitors. We, ha we have an awful lot of equipment, so the, I, it's 100% owned by myself. Uh, so the, the fact that we can be very nimble. Uh, customers tend to uh, change their needs uh, almost weekly. The uh, industry is very demanding. Uh, you have to perform. Uh, and it's unforgiving. And of course, we're making aerospace parts. They have to be 100% correct and on time. Uh, so our job is to service the customer and just overkill that service to the customer. What do you think are your biggest competitive advantages for Stretch Forming Corporation right now? Biggest assets, contributors to your success? Well, obviously, it, it's the people. It's always the people. If, if you surround yourself with the right people, the, the people that are, quite frankly, smarter than you are, uh, especially in their, their particular area. Uh, you, you know, my job is to get the best people there so I'm not there as much. So that's what we're, we're working on the most and get it so they're, they're a little more autonomy. 
so we're always hiring, always looking for the right people. We're growing at a pretty fast clip, but you've got to grow intelligently. One of the biggest mistakes a business can make is taking on too much all at once and not performing. So you've got to, you've got to kind of be careful there. So getting that return on your investment in terms of human capital, you're able to get that in the city where you are in Riverside County, of course, in the city of Paris Correct. in particular. And that's really important. Obviously, you're talking always about one of the greatest expenses that any company has in terms of its people. And so that's really huge. What about some of the um, other things that you kind of found appealing really about the city of Paris when you decided to locate in town? What was it about Paris that made you decide to come in? Well, we, uh, we uh, went, went looking for facilities uh, back in 2009, 10, uh, and uh, we stumbled across a, a couple of facilities uh, in Paris, and we visited uh, with uh, the, uh, the city uh, managers and uh, Mike McDermott there, the uh, economic development uh, man, and uh, the meeting went quite well. They were very positive. Uh, they, they made it made it apparent they, they would work with us. So that was a big uh, reason that we actually pulled the trigger and, and purchased the, the 100,000 square foot facility on 15 acres in, in Paris. And now we're looking to expand on that. Uh, and we've, we've put uh, additional offices in there uh, and the city has been worked with us very well. Uh, very reactive, and so I mean, it's been a blessing, you know, as opposed to some of the other cities, you, you might uh, run into a lot more, um, they might not have the sense of urgency that one needs in business. We, we really can't wait, you know, a month to, for somebody to make a decision. Business so, can't wait until you've got red correct. tape, and you've got all those hurdles and, and, and rings of fire to jump through. Correct. We don't have the time to be able to do that. So the process was, was pretty smooth from the time you had your first meetings to, to it was now. very smooth. Uh, and then we met with, with the city council. Uh, they were able to give us a few dollars as well. I mean, a nice check. And they, it was just great. And we did our part. We hired um, uh, many people, uh, locals. Uh, and it, I think it's been a great win-win situation for both of us. Like I said, we're looking to expand and hire more. So I just say the future is pretty bright for both parties. Um, and I, I just... Uh, <laughs> I, I feel very fortunate that we were able to run into the city of Paris and, and this facility. Really kind of an interesting story, too, because in the beginning, uh, if memory serves correctly, just from some, some of my research that I've done, the intention, the impetus behind kind of coming to the city was your interest in kind of consolidating your operations. Is that correct? That is correct. And now all of a sudden, so you're going. going the other way. You've well, got to expand but, a little bit. We are on 15 acres, so we have another you know, eight acres to, 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 uh, to grow. So we're looking to build another 50,000 square feet. Uh, but we had two facilities, one in Murrieta, one in Rialto, which we moved into uh, this facility here. Uh, and it's, it, it's, it, it's a gorgeous facility. It shows very well. Um, and we are centrally located. We, we uh, go to L.A., Orange County, and San Diego. Uh, the customers come to us throughout the country and, and the world. Uh, we get them in uh, at least weekly. We have customers fly in and, and visit with us. You know, I think that's an interesting point that you bring up because one thing that we, we talk to uh, our guests about is, you know, w why it's important to them, the advantages to them of, of, uh, of bringing their business to the city. But the customers also benefit, too, from uh, having uh, a business that they can do business with and have it be in a location that's right for them. I mean, from a so from a logistics right. standpoint, really too, uh, as far as your suppliers are concerned. Correct. This Great. is really, it, this it kind of works out. I'm glad you brought that up. You know, aero, uh, Southern California is still an aerospace center and so as far as the vendors are, and we, we still have to subcontract quite a bit, the finishing and things like that, even though we try to do as much as we can in-house. And we need those vendors, and we are blessed to have that vendor base is still there. So it, we're very fortunate to have that here. And as you, as you may or, or people may or may not know, this area is turning into a logistics center. So people cannot afford to have warehouses in, in L.A. County and Orange County. They're all sold out. So people are building out here in, in uh, Riverside County, uh, uh, Paris, et cetera, to, to uh, warehouse uh, their products, some very large corporations. You have a lot of people that work for Stretch Forming Corporate. And, and people that, that you were able to bring in right, right here in the city, you're able to right. take and hire and train. 
What do, do the people tell you about the area in terms of, of living here, the livability, the lifestyle, and, and just kind of all that it uh, affords? Well, all it takes one, is one to, uh, to check the, the housing pricing. Uh, it'll take you about five minutes to realize that there's the, the significance of, of getting uh, twice a house for half the price out here versus uh, Orange County or L.A. It, it is very important that we hire people that live around the facility because what you don't want to do at the end of the day after, after putting in a long day is drive another two hours to get home. Right. Right. If you, know, you have a, a chance to sit down with other business owners and maybe these are folks who are considering their next move and maybe they've got a company that they're ready to scale up and they're ready to, to kind of make some important decisions. What would you tell them based on your experience your business, the success that you've had with Stretch Forming Corporation, and then, of course, the success that you've continued to find being in the city of Paris, what would you tell them if they had some questions about, you know, pulling the trigger and relocating and maybe ex expanding their company in, in this area? It's funny you ask me that because, well, you know, I have, I have some vendors that come out and see us and they, and they go, in, you know, in retrospect, they're grandfathered in where they're at in Orange County in L.A., but if they could move their facility, they would move it out here. They've said, boy, you, you made the smart move being out here in, in, uh, in the city of Paris. Uh, they look at what we have. They look at the, the, the space. They look at uh, the housing pricing. They look at the labor market. And they said, well, if they had it over to do it over again, they would be out here. Let me ask you kind of in closing with respect to where you folks are headed with Stretch Forming Corporation. Obviously, the future looks bright, but what are your plans? What's your vision kind of looking maybe uh, a, a year to five years out? We want to get hire probably another 20, 30, 40 people in the next few years and, and get it so that it's, and get that other facility built, the other 50,000 square feet, expand our machining capability. So we have the heat treat, we have the forming, we have the tool design, we have the uh, fabrication, uh, of course, the inspection, uh, all under roof, and so we can be a one-stop shop for our customers uh, and get it, you know, get it about 50% larger than it is. But as a business owner, too, I would think that, you know, location is really, really critical for a variety of reasons. I mean, how do you feel about it? Well, obviously, I can give you three very solid reasons. Uh, location, uh, value-wise, as far as the real estate itself, we, uh, if you look at the, the land value and the, and the buildings for what you get versus, uh, say, somewhere else in Southern California, uh, it, it's, it, it, it speaks for itself. It, it's, a, it's a heck of a, a bargain, uh, and we're very happy with the value that we got um, out in Paris. Then, of course, uh, the employees, we have a, a nice labor pool out here, uh, and they drive maybe 10, 15 minutes to work. And the, the location of the facility to San Diego, to Orange County, to Riverside, to L.A., it's, uh, it's right there. Uh, so we have our vendors there. We have our customers there. Obviously, we have customers throughout the world. Uh, and throughout the U.S., but we have an awful lot of them here yet in Southern California, and including our vendors that, uh, that we use, and so this location has worked out perfectly. Brian, we really appreciate having you on the show and the time that you've taken out of your schedule to join us today on this edition of Periscope. And I understand that you've had a chance to check in on some previous editions of this program. How has this show helped you, if at all, in kind of, you know, with regard to your business? Well, it's interesting you should bring that up. Uh, I uh, just happened to be looking at, at your, your various episodes, and I came across the uh, New Market Tax Fund with David Tausig. And, uh, and we are just now looking to expand our facility and build another 50,000 square feet. And it looked like we fit that profile perfectly. Made a phone call to Mike McDermott, the city of Paris, and then I called David Tausig, and we're putting together a package now. And we see substantial savings uh, by using that particular program to be a win-win for both parties. Well, Brian, it's been a pleasure. Uh, and we really do appreciate you sharing so much information and much continued success with Stretch Forming Corporation. Thank you very much, Jeff. You bet. That's going to wrap up this edition of Periscope. We hope you enjoyed our chat with Brian Geary, President and CEO of Stretch Forming Corporation. You can learn more about his company by visiting stretchformingcorp.com. If you'd like information about the advantages of starting, expanding, or relocating your business here, we invite you to contact the Economic 
Development Department at City Hall in Paris by calling 951-943-6100. Again, that's 951-943-6100. Or you can simply visit the city's website at cityofparis.org. For Periscope, I'm Jeff Allen.